tell me what to say. Hello. <laughs> okay, sorry. Hello, and welcome to an exciting new episode of Serious Image with SBRE Brown and Gourmet Pens. Okay, what were your first impressions of this pen? Just kidding. Oh my god! It's a Moonlight Sonata! A horrible version. Because today the pen is the Moonlight. Ba -ba. By From Visconti. Visconti. And we thank Applebaum for lending us this pen because otherwise we would not be able to test it out. And we will be sending it back to Applebaum immediately. Nobody cares. What were your first impressions of this pen? First impressions. Well, this is one of their mid-range expensive pens. So it's more expensive than the Hall of Music, but not as expensive as a Homo Sapiens. So you don't get the schmancy Burlwood box. Instead, you get this. And it opens. And it has this little bed. It's, you know, it's decent. It, you could actually just leave this on your desk if you want to have a little pen tray or something. It's kind of cool. This one does not smell no, really weird. Smell. This one. It's really cute. It has this little <laughs> drawer on the side that you could pull out. Disgusting. Sorry. Let me smell this. I don't know. Here, look. Moonlight. Hall of Music. So you could just see that one is a little fancier. I'm smelling it again. But, uh, okay, stop smelling things. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with it. What I do like about their packaging is that, although they vary in size a bit, they match. You know? Yeah. So, anyway. What was your first impression of the packaging? You liked it? What about the pen? The pen, I think, is really pretty. That is a beautiful material. And I think Visconti excels in that, in using beautiful yep. materials yep. and yep. attractive finishes. So, yeah. That's all. What about you? My first impressions were, hey, crescent filler. Because you don't see that many crescent fillers. We'll come back to that in a second, uh, I guess. But, um... Yeah, nice and a nice material. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a very uh, attractive. Uh, can I have the white thing? Uh, it's definitely a, a very pretty uh, material. That, that's uh, for sure. So I thought, yeah, that's that's pretty neat. Yeah. Now, what makes it special? What makes it special is the moonlight um, came in four, no, three different finishes, and then there was the rainbow. Uh, it's the this is the green, and um, so it is a limited edition this one i think the the number is on the section i can't yeah, remember how many uh, 300 something of 200 200, 200 made this that's, number that's pretty limited so that's not that's not that many of this color and um it is also a modern crescent filler yep Ta -da! so i think that i think so too it's so terrifying i think that is essentially what makes this pen very special what was your writing experience like? Why don't you show them the nib? This pen employs Visconti's... Uh, wait, what is it called? The Smart Touch? Yes, the smart, smart Touch. touch. Or Smart Ouch, but I'm assuming it's Smart Touch. Uh, it is a Chromium 18, is that correct? Yep. Yes, yep. Chromium 18. Now, if you are wondering what Chromium 18 is, I am also wondering what that is, but from what I understand, it is steel. Yeah, some type of chrome alloy, I suppose. So, but I mean, it's not a gold nib. No, so, it's not. Um, it is a tubular nib with a bit of a pointed up tip. Yeah, yeah. And this one, it was a broad. So, my writing experience, the pen of course was flushed before we inked it up. And we did use a, you know, a normal regular ink, not something super dry or anything. Um, I didn't really have issues writing with it. It does, I think, these tubular nibs take a certain writing angle. Because they have that bit that points up right at the it points up right at the end there so I mean you have the, the shape of the tipping you kind of have to, to, to work with it otherwise you're gonna be on the underside of the nib it's gonna be skipping uh, so you want to I would recommend if you before you get one of these nibs if you don't know how you write test one first but anyway I write at all sorts of weird angles so for me I didn't really have any issues you know, it is an interesting nib. I found it very, very stiff. It uh, even with pressure, I mean, it doesn't really give, and that's okay. But um, just testing. I don't think it's the most. It's kind of a weird nib, also. I mean, it's like it's just so it's so tubular, dude. You know, 
sorry. And it's laser engraved. It doesn't do a whole lot for me, like, design-wise. Anyway, that's irrelevant, I think. What are we talking about? Writing experience. It was okay. I, um, I didn't love the Nim, but it performed better than the Hollow Music Palladium Nim did. Yep. So it actually worked. Um, no line variation or anything, but like I said, it's stiff. What about you, sir? Yeah, uh, my, my writing experience uh, largely mirrors yours. I, I have to admit that I'm not an enormous fan of these these smart touch nibs. The, they are very rigid. Yeah. The, the pointed upwards thing, yeah, some people really like it. It doesn't do that much for me. And they also. But I think it depends on how you write. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so maybe that, that helps. And I, I, they, I just don't think they are that nice because they are so rigid. I don't know, it doesn't do much for me. I did write. Ink flow was fine, mm -hmm. so it you know that's all all great, um, but I would rather I would rather have taken a normal steel nib than this smart touch nib to be honest. And I'm not even talking about palladium or gold nibs, just that I think that that would you know already be nice. All right. Should I go on with what I love about it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, what I love about it, the material really is nice. I mean, we've shown that a couple of times now, but I mean that whoops, the material really is nice. I I, I do like that. Uh, a limited edition, well, that appeals to some people, uh, you know, have something fancy. Uh, I do like the fact that it's a, a, a crescent fillet, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with that, uh, you have this little ring here which you align... The opening. Yeah, the, to open it up, and then you have uh, a little um, uh, thing that you can use here. Uh, you uh, compress that, you put this in a bottle of water, you, you press it, and in there bottle is of a... Water? Uh, sorry, bottle of ink or water if you want to clean it. Uh, you press this, a little sack inside gets compressed and then you let go and it decompresses and it, it sucks up ink. Uh, it's, it's a very old system, it's interesting that Visconti uses that again. Uh, so it's nice because it's a little bit fancier. It's a little bit fancier than you know your regular cartridge converter or something. What I don't like about this pen so much is that that nib, it, it should, as I said before, it doesn't really do that much for me. Another issue I have is that I think that the ring that you slide in place to, to lock the um, uh, crescent, this looks a bit cheap, uh, and also once that is disengaged, you really hear how much noise Of course, that only happens when makes. it is, yeah. Yeah, and of course, if you would, I mean, the reason you, you put the ring is that you don't accidentally compress this when you have ink in it, because ink will squirt out. So, I mean, once you put that ring in, it's very stealthy and you don't hear anything. So, is it an enormous deal? Not really, but to me... But if you're looking for reasons to convince yourself not to buy a pen... This doesn't sound that appealing. This makes it sound cheap. Yeah. And I don't know, I, I have to, I will immediately admit, I haven't used that many uh, crescent fillers in my life. I don't know if all crescent fillers make noise like that, because then clearly it's not necessarily a very fair complaint. But, I don't know. It didn't really work for me. What about you? Uh, like you, I... I think it's very beautiful finish. The oh, yeah. dark green to a l medium dark, like a forest green, but it is very shimmery, uh, pearlescent, and it has these like white veins in it that kind of fade in and out. Anyway, very lovely. I do like the the shape of it. I like rounded off pens and stuff. Um, the clip is is interesting. It has the little like this little screw at the back that you can adjust for for tension. Slightness, yeah. Um, I, I enjoy the crescent filler filling system. I think that's very interesting. It's, um, I find it easier to operate than uh, a tiny little lever on a vintage yeah, pen, yeah, for example. For sure. yeah. So if you're looking for a unique filling system, but maybe if you have arthritis or something, you can't get the little lever to work, this is easier to work with. So, I mean, it's easier to press, it's easier to clean. Um, yeah, so, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Oh. What do I dislike? I I'm really picky. I think I'm being really picky. So the center band, there it is engraved with moonlight, and um, to me the it it is engraved, so it's not uh, lasered or anything. But it looks a bit I don't know. Uh, it's it's a very big center band. It looks a bit like the way it is actually engraved is not super sharp so I don't know it just feels not really clean I guess mm -hmm. um, 
it's a very light pen so if you're looking for a heavy pen this is not it and it is a metal section I do not find the section slippery but um, yeah again it, I mean it's really light and even for me it's it's light and mm -hmm. you you can post it but it, it doesn't work it's it's top heavy it's uh, maybe if you have bigger hands it works better I don't think but I don't think no. you had used it posted either no. It's, it's too too much. It's also a bit floppy on there. So, so the nib is okay. I I don't really like the design on it. It's not the shape of the nib. It's more so that it's engraved. And again, the engraving is just so messy. I I don't know. But the finish is beautiful, and the crescent filler system is a lot of fun, and it's very interesting, and it's nice to see it on a modern pen. So it's also limited edition. I mean, that's really <coughs> neat. Yep. So, yeah. I think I kind of talked about five different things there. Would you buy it? This pen is 280 and I what I do also really like is you can get a huge nib range, fine, medium, broad, stub in the, well, I guess it's not huge, but you know, it's a pretty decent nib range. And uh, what I buy for 280. Uh, I'm not really in the market for something like this, but I think 280 is not atrocious. I'm not crazy about the, the some of the design elements, like the engraving. I'm a, the, the one thing that really turns me off is the nib. And I think that's really the only thing. If it was, a like you said, a steel nib or a palladium nib, I probably would, would be more tempted. It's just the nib. They just don't really work for me. I, I agree. I would not buy this, even though it's a stunning material, it's a fancy filling system. I just don't like it enough. It's it, The model is nice, there's nothing wrong with the model, but I think the nib is was not the most optimal choice. Um, well, for us. Yeah, for yeah, someone yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, yeah. We, we, we're talking about whether I, would I buy it? No. For me, it's not, this nib is not that fantastic. I just wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't because of that I don't like the way these these chromium eighteen nibs write. Uh, it's it's not it. what they what they could have put on what would have been cool is basically if it's really about the shape, it's one of those uh, flex touch from uh, the pin soft and touch. What was it called? Yeah, uh, the, soft the, the touch. Pin, pin and farina. That was pin, really pin, awesome. Pin, 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 farina, pin, yeah, pin, 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 farina, pin, that, that, that really expensive one. That has a nib that looks the same but that's flexier. And that would it's, have already made a big difference. Then I would definitely go yeah, for it. Yeah. That would be more to me it's really the nib that's holding me back. Yeah. So um, now the big question, another issue is you have to kind of make this, this crescent and the clip line up, otherwise it looks really odd and it's possible, but it takes a bit of fiddling sometimes. Uh, is it or is it not a serious nibbage? This is a serious nibbage meter, not serious, very serious. This is not an exact science, this is just based on arbitrary testing and random feelings, but... But we're gonna present it to you anyway! Yay! Okay, um, that's terrifying. I, there's, there's really, overall, I think I really do like this pen, and for me, it's only the, the nib that I'm not crazy about. So, of course, the nib is the most important part, because it is a pen, so you have to enjoy your writing experience. So, for me, I, I'm kind of around here, you know. If the nib worked for me, it'd be more desirable, but... Yeah, I'd leave it there, too. It's not a bad pen, but... To me, it's not a great pen because of the nib. I also don't think it's like insanely expensive compared to what they also for have. limited edition Visconti. Yeah, yeah, I think it's it's reasonably priced. Yeah. Of course, you don't. You know, I mean, it's not the most expensive nib material. It's not like you get an 18k gold nib or anything like. But even so, even I think it could be a lot worse. Yeah. Now, what else could you pick? Uh, at 280, well, you could look at the Hall of Music, which is also by Visconti, which you may or may not have also recognized us doing. And uh, you can upgrade to the Palladium nib for just a bit more than the price of that. Um, what else do you got? Well, what I was thinking of, but it's a bit more expensive though, but if you like, uh, if, if you like uh, an interesting material, you could look at an Edison pen. Um, those yeah. are $350, the regular range. The, the production, no, 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 no signature no, no, no. line is... The is signature line is expensive, the regular ones are $150. No, but right? if you wanted a, so, a special one, like the Menlo or something, which has a unique filling system, that's about $350. So you're, you're so getting up it's there. It's close, it's not exactly the same price, but then you also, as you said, you also have an interesting filling system, and you have nice swirly material. I mean, Brian, Brian Gray can do pretty much anything you like, right? So, yeah. I mean, there's a lot no of materials. Material. Yeah, so many, uh, it's, it's fascinating. Yeah. 
um, but that's an option. Um, you could. Uh, There's the standard like Lamy 2000, Lamy yeah, Studio, of course. the dialogue. Um, some some Monteverdi pens have have. I, I'm trying to look at something that would be comparable in that they won't have a fancy filling well, system. Well, Conklin makes a modern crescent filler. Yeah, Conklin. That's for the filling um, system, and, and I think Monteverdi for the material. Yeah. They have some some fancy yeah. acrylics, uh, which might be fun. Yeah, so they do. So there's definitely a lot of yeah. options uh, that you can yeah you can you can play around with. Yeah. All right. Well, that was it. We hope this was useful. Thank Yost, you again. You're going to get yeah. back your pen right now. Thank you for lending um, us such a, once again, a very limited edition pen. We hope this was useful. Do you own it? Let us know what you think about it. Do you think it's serious image? Uh, do you like the nib? Do you, did you, do you like it? us? If not, well, sorry. But well, then you've bye. wasted the number of minutes of your life now. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, and that's pretty much all there's to it. Yeah. We will gladly see you later. Bye. Bye.